patients. The patient cells 220 to 240. This is where they kept the lunatics, the murderers, the sociopaths, the worst of the worst, including Clive the Peeper Johnson. You'd think he would be a pervert with a nickname the Peeper, but the truth is far worse. He was extremely manipulative and very intelligent. He was a murderer and a maimer. Most of his victims could never identify him because he managed to convince them to gouge their own eyes out with metal wires and even their own fingernails. He came here due to legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Let's just start the ceremony. Spirits inside this asylum, we know that you're here. We release you from your restraints. Come forward and live again. This person is no longer shielded from the realm of the dead. You may be seen, interact, and manipulate him in any way as you see fit. Get out of this hallway and then take a take your second right. Doors locked. Damn it! Damn it! Oh, okay, there's a there's a staircase. Take the staircase up to the second floor, and you should be next to a fire escape. You should be able to get out that way. So so go up the staircase.
Alright, confession time. Uh, it's about the eyes. I kinda hid this from ya. There's an urban legend, and, and I, I repeat, it's an urban legend about the peeper Clive Johnson. You see, the there was a patient who suffered from dementia and swore that Clive was more than just a mere man. And uh, he would kind of haunt this patient all throughout the day. You know, rampant hallucinations that progressively got worse, but at night he never saw the peeper. Then he discovered that if he closed his eyes, he could escape Clive. But whenever he opened them, Clive would be there, waiting for him and getting closer and closer. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And while he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. And a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesights, too. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Terrifying, 
and greatest paranormal footage that has ever been taken in the history of television. Oh my god, Tom, we're going to win an Emmy. We might be on talk shows, paranormal entities, movies, spin-offs, freaking coffee mugs, and kids shows. Holy crap, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Him? Him? <laughs> I'm not going in there. Are you going to go in there? I'm not going in there. Hell no, 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 no. I mean, we don't even know where he is in that hospital. The camera's black. He's not responding. I don't see anything. Do you? No, no, no. We're getting out of here. And uh, anyways, another crazy thing about this. He needs to collect his money, too. I don't think he's going to be coming here anytime soon. So so we, we basically got all this footage for free, dude. Let's just start the man up. Let's get the hell on out of here. We've been in here for, I don't know, a couple hours, just a little bit too long, I'm a little sore, I need to stretch out, and my very wealthy friend, you, are starting to stink. Alright, I'm gonna do it. Whoa. Whoa, 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 did, did you hear that? Did you, did you hear that? Shh, listen, listen. A little closer. That, that was outside the truck. That was outside the truck, right? So, listen. See you now. Oh. 